Dr. Jeffrey Lieberman, Chief of Psychiatry at New York Presbyterian Columbia Medical Center, is here with his insights. Great to have you. Good morning. Thank you. So we never really feel when we explode that it's over a small thing, but sometimes it really is. Well, first, everybody has their breaking point. I mean, whether it's the straw that breaks the camel's back or the cup that's over, over the drop that overfills the cup, it can happen to anybody. I flew up here yesterday from being out of town and, and the TSA line, I almost lost it. But, I don't think anyone think, has ever not lost no, it in the that's, TSA that's, line. That's going to be the end for me <laughs> where I cross the line. The question is, is sort of what is precipitating these reactions and are they occurring more frequently than they have in the past? It's a little bit complicated. Let me try and break it down first. Oftentimes, in the context of real mental disorders, people have emotional volatility and irritability. It's the signature symptom of PTSD. It occurs in depression or bipolar disorder. There's even a disorder that has a name for losing your temper violently, excessively, too frequently. It's called intermittent explosive disorder. Yeah. Very strict criteria. But what we're talking about here is when ostensibly normal people in everyday life mm -hmm. just lose it, they overreact, they do something that they're either embarrassed for or they actually can incur legal consequences about. Mm -hmm. And it happens to everybody. The question is, is it happening more often and why? To some extent, it's probably related to sociocultural factors. Mm -hmm. There was a survey that was done by a noted Harvard epidemiologist in 1990, the National Comorbidity Survey. He repeated it. 15 years later, mm -hmm. in 2005, he found that the biggest increase of any disorder was intermittent explosive disorder. Yeah. So people do seem to be having a lower threshold right. before they explode. And so ultimately, they're, it's, they're, frequently, they're not really angry about you know, people cutting in line. It's a, it's a cumulative thing, yes? That's the trigger. That's the trigger that sort of pushes their button or sends them over the top. And as I said, it can happen to everybody. Um, when it happens to people that don't have some pre-existing disorder, mm -hmm. it seems to be the accumulation of a number of stresses and slights and uh, things that have happened in the course of our life. And now we're in a culture where never in human history have people haven't been having to deal so much mm -hmm. so information. What, what do people do what if do they're do coming about? unhinged? Um, well, the first thing, uh, having a mental meltdown, meltdown or emotional meltdown is a sign or a signal that you're having difficulty with emotional control. People should be able to control their emotions, behave appropriately, and also be able to um, uh, conduct themselves in an appropriate way. If they lose that, then they have to uh, uh, be able to understand why. So you have some, some great ideas for people to think about their hot button issues, not be reactive, think before you speak, take time and walk away, and I like this one, use humor to diffuse the situation. These are little devices that you can yep. use, but anything to diffuse stress, exercise, meditation, yep. or ther therapy to Doctor. gain insights into what's stimulating you in this way. Thank you, Dr. Jeffrey Lieberman. Have a great one. Pleasure.